Greetings metal community, it's a Roger back with another video. As I said I was starting to reorganize my vinyl collection and uh, slightly reorganizing my CD collection and I'm gonna pull out some stuff from the vault, uh, a lot of OG presses and um, some stuff that you know I had for quite a few years, you know I've not been active so much on the channel so I have a lot of stuff to show. In the background, of course, we are listening to um, Autopsy Funeral, Mental Funeral. Uh, this is an OG press from uh, back in the days. Uh, been uh, keeping it quite nice. Some dents, of course, are there, but um, pretty, pretty mint condition. And do have it on CD as well, so I tend to play that more often. The fun thing about this album is back in, you know, the 90s, late 80s and early 90s, I was kind of very uh, into, you know, I wanted it to be very well produced. But uh, then Autopsy come ar came around and changed that a little bit, so I was more open-minded to uh, more... Um, your stuff and, and I love that album it's a killer 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 album another one is uh, Anthropomorphia from um, Netherlands this is a uh, double vinyl containing um, I think it was an EP and um, the first album uh, my copy is uh, 263 out of 500 uh, you know, I love the Crypt uh, reissue stuff, they are doing a killer job. This is, uh, as I said, a uh, band from Holland or Netherlands or whatever. Play like um, mid-paced, heavy death metal, uh, have a slightly kind of satanical uh, vibe to it, a little bit evil. 2017 they released this uh, album called um, Sermon of Wrath. Great, great uh, album as well. Um, great vocals and great production. Very juicy, heavy production. Uh, I love this band as well. You know, they, they have kind of kept the, the feeling from the, uh, the 90s. See this for later, and we have an Norwegian band uh, shown this before. Uh, both these are, of course, original is original stuff. It's Arch Another Return. This is, uh, yeah, Metal Church uh, kind of music. Uh, this album is a fucking killer. Uh, kind of. Uh, we didn't have much good metal back in the day. This came out in 88. And uh, yeah, when this came out, I was just blown away and had to have it. And there's some killer songs here. Uh, you know, the opening, uh, another return to Churchill. And uh, the last song, Reincarnation, is just a, a brutal killer song. Then they, uh, a couple of years later, they came out with their second album, which was a totally miss for me. Um, still original, but um, yeah, not very good. Uh, much more, uh, I don't want to say poppy, but uh, mainstream heavy metal. The vocalist is great, you know, um, Eirikur Haugsson is from, originally from Iceland, the rest of the band is Norwegian. He has a great voice, but the songs here are too um, commercialized in a way. Uh, it doesn't have the same power that the, the first album had, and uh, it's a bit shame because uh, the first album is absolute killer, killer stuff. Then I have a relatively new one, this is... Um, one of my uh, favorite albums, or my favorite album from uh, 2015, um, Abyssal with uh, Anti Cartosis. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Nah, 
Maybe not. Anticostasis or something like that. This is, uh, I do believe they are from Germany. Play very murky. Yeah, death, black and death doom or whatever you call it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on uh, with this album. Look, there it is. Try to read that fast. And yeah, this album is just absolute killer. Um, I would say kind of slightly towards Portal in, in kind of the murkiness of it. Uh, and it's kind of a murky production on it, but uh, um, not too murky. And there's a lot of, as I said, a lot of stuff going on here. The vocals are deep and uh, cavernous uh, and everything is like a yeah deep. You're in a deep uh, cave when you listen to this. And uh, But, but uh, just so killer, killer. I mean, um, yeah, everything here is uh, top class. So if you haven't heard Abyssal with the uh, title I don't want to try to say again, uh, do check them out because this is an absolute killer and uh, my top pick for 2015. And uh, there was some good stuff in 2015, but this was undisputed. My, um, my top album. I didn't get this. Uh, when it first came out, I was... Yeah, I listened to it and I felt, yeah, this is something that I would like. Then I totally forgot about it and uh, I didn't get it all, I think I, almost a year later than the release, but uh, it was uh, a great, great uh, time when I got this and played it for the first time. I, I, I played this whole album like six, seven times in a row in the middle of the night. With no lights on and uh, it was just a um, yeah a very nice experience then we are going to france with aggressor never ending uh, destiny this is kind of a uh, more thrashier death metal uh, i would say or heavy thrash album original album or release as well Aggressor did do this is Yeah, they had like four or five albums and they're pretty good every but the this and um, Yeah, I don't remember what the second or first album was named there or killer. I just um, Was it from beyond maybe it was called I've uh, ordered uh, that one on the vinyl on the reissue because this is the only only I have on vinyl. I do have uh, some other stuff on CD. And uh, but yeah, this is a uh, this came out in I would say 92 or something, but I'm not quite sure. It doesn't say here, but um, no, not the 90. The second album was probably 92. But yeah. Uh, pretty early stuff and uh, as I said more thrashy death metal and, and kind of a bit wild in a way uh, but a killer album I love it then we have a classic this is a reissue of uh, Anathema's Serenades and you know Peace will do a killer job with the reissues this, uh, and this stuff I had on CD and I'm gonna show the original CD as well um, but I love this album I just had to have this on vinyl and um, this uh, English um, yeah death doom stuff was very important back in the days you know uh, my dying bride the early paradise lost here is the original uh, CD. I had like a fold out. I played this album, uh, yeah, probably a thousand times. Um, just love it. 
a absolute classic uh, and the killer and I also have the uh, the uh, crestfallen EP uh, looks like this great great stuff as well so um, I guess everybody knows anathema they uh, changed up their style and yeah I didn't like them after the third or fourth album I kind of dropped out on them but the, the old stuff is killer and we have uh, this beauty here this is a uh, Finnish band that was this was originally um, released in 2008 uh, or recorded in 2008 and released 2012 this is a reissue from I don't know five years ago or something Iron Bonehead production this is a killer death metal album or EP just great dirty uh, finish um, yeah it's slightly like death doom in a way but uh more yeah kind of brutal dirty death metal uh, not in, uh, like brutal death metal but uh, death metal with brutality uh, even though they don't you know blast away it's just a killer killer EP and um, yeah ascended the title is uh, temple of dark offerings great great stuff Then we are going over to one of the most important death metal albums for me uh, back in the days. Um, I really love this album and I love the band, uh, but uh, you know, Atheist, piece of time. I was uh, I got aware of this band because they were uh, touring with uh, Candlemas over in Europe. I think it was in 1990. Um, and um, and I also think this album came out one year earlier in Europe than in US, which is pretty weird. But uh, I read a review in a magazine, and uh, the guy he was there to see uh, Candlemas. But uh, after listening to um, Atheist, uh, Candlemas was uh, yeah, I didn't do it for him because he was so blown away by this band and. Yeah, I absolutely love this album. Um, I have this on. This is the original vinyl. I do have it also on originally original released CD. Uh, because, as I said, I I just love this album. And when my my record player caved in uh, about the same time that I got this album. So I needed to uh, have it on CD because um, back in the days it was not so much YouTube and stuff you could go and listen to. But uh, for me, a very important death metal album, uh, one of I would say for me top ten, uh, just because of the timing and um, this was one of the first albums I got uh, with death metal. You know, I had some, um, yeah. Death and Pestilence was also early, but Atheist was one of the earliest bands that I had. And I also have the, you know, Unquestionable Presence on original CD as well. And yeah, I love this album as well. It's not so good for me as the first one, of course, but, uh, but uh, yeah, killer, killer stuff. Uh, and um, another album that I played to death, uh, I have bought this on vinyl, reissued vinyl um, as well. So I'm gonna try and keep my um, original stuff um, not so much played. Another cool stuff that I have from back in the days is um, Gardens of Grief EP, uh, Edge of Sanity, not here, Edge of Sanity, At the Gates. Um, this came out in 91. I ordered this directly from um, Dolores Records. And uh, this is also in, in pretty, pretty good condition. Uh, you can see the 
Dolores 005, which um, was uh, one of the first releases from Dolor Dolores Records. And uh, this was kind of a, you, uh, you sent the money via the, the post office or something like that and you waited and uh, you wasn't sure if it would turn up at all, but uh, they delivered and uh, Dolores was um, a great, great uh, label back in the... They didn't last very long, but uh, they did have some cool releases. And then I had the follow-up um, or the first full-length, the sky and the sky, the red in the sky is ours. Uh, I love this album as well. It's um, one of my favorites at the Gates album. I, I rate this over um, Slaughter of the Souls, uh, just because this is much more heavy, it's brutal. Um, Thomas's vocals on this are insane. On the Gardens of Grief album, he's pretty just singing with a deep, dark uh, voice. On this uh, album, he kind of had this cracking vocals, uh, that ins insanity in it. Uh, but you know, all the riffs that are on here could probably have, they could have written five albums of all the riffs that are in this album because it's riff after riff. and. Uh, I really love this album as well, so um, if you haven't heard At The Gates, you know, other than Slaughter of Souls, but uh, go and listen to this, because this is heavy death metal, and just an excellent, excellent release, and uh, I, uh, everybody should listen to this if you're into death metal. It's nothing compared to, to uh, Slaughter of Souls, and uh, yeah. That was all I had to show for this video. I will make more of these videos. Uh, maybe I will... I don't know. If I, uh, if you think this is okay to do, um, just let me know. If I, you want some more history behind it, maybe I will uh, try to do that. But I don't write notes, so I'm probably going to forget half of the stuff anyway. So, um, yeah. And as always, thanks for watching. And be sure